852, everybody, and we are embracing Dominican culture this whole week as we count down to Sunday's 42nd annual Dominican Day Parade, which, by the way, you can watch for the very first time right here on PIX11. Yeah, and today we are highlighting the work of one of New York's very own Angie Cruz, whose new book, Angelica and La Guira, is told through the eyes of a child. So good morning, Angie, and thanks for being here. No, thank you so much for having me. So first and foremost, for those that don't know, what is a guida? So a guida, oh, I wish I had one to demonstrate, is an instrument that is a percussion instrument that okay. looks like a tin can um, and that you scrape with a metal comb, and it makes kind of a scratchy sound. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Yep. Why did you decide to write a book at this point in time, and a children's book at that? Well, you know, um, during the pandemic, I was spending a lot of time with my, my son. I have a 16-year-old son. He's 16 now, but when I wrote this book, he was um, 13. And I was thinking a lot about um, what it would feel like to write a book for someone of a different age. I usually write adult books. Yeah. I have two books um, written for adults, Dominicana and How Not to Drown in a Glass of Water. And I just wanted to write for children because a lot of times when I have a reading, parents will go with their kids and they will have me sign my adult books for these kids. Mm. And I thought, this is my opportunity to bring in some of that energy from my adult books for children. And what is the significance then of La, la Guida? So La Guida for me is, it's one of the most important instruments in El Merengue Tipico, okay. which is, you know, I'm from Dominic, I mean, my family's from Dominican Republic. I was born in New York City in Washington Heights. And, um, I was listening to merengue tipico and merengue my entire life and I became really curious about the music and I love La Guida in particular because it is the instrument that slows down the music or speeds it up. Yeah. Oh, and so I it thought keeps the beat. it keeps, keeps the, the rhythm beat. going. It keeps the rhythm going, mm -hmm. right? It's what gets you moving. And I thought what an amazing power to have this small instrument actually get people moving. Yeah. And I wanted to see what it would look like for a little girl to have that power. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. And let's talk about the book itself and how you wrote it, right? It, kind of weaving English and Spanish at the same time. Yes, well, you know, I grew up, I, I, my first language was Spanish, yeah. even though um, I'm not a great Spanish speaker now. <laughs> but um, I always think about how we code switch, right? Yeah. Speaking Spanish and English in my home because mm -hmm. we're a mixed language family. And um, I just wanted to bring some of the um, beauty of how we use language in our families. But what's really exciting about this is that we've published the book in English and in, in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. And the audiobooks are also um, out in Spanish and in English. So um, it's really wonderful for anyone who wants to read in Spanish yeah. and listen to it. And yes. Yeah, I love it. And it's so colorful. The illustration in this book is just gorgeous. It yes, really Luz is. Batista did an incredible job. What's like, the storyline? Um, so the storyline is this um, little girl, Angelica, <laughs> who inherited La Guida from her grandfather while she was visiting a Dominican Republic. I also oh. went to Dominican Republic as a child. And I remember the end of summer was very difficult for me to return to Washington Heights. And, um, and I thought, what would it look like for, to bring an object like La Guida into New York City? And we have this little girl who wants to play this <laughs> instrument. So and cute. nobody wants to hear her oh, because the sound yeah. by itself kind of sounds a little scratchy, oh. scratchy yeah. and a little bit, you know, um, uncomfortable. Um, and she plays it and everyone tells her, go away, go away. And then she finally decides to go play it for herself. And when she plays it for herself, she finds her own band and her own music and a big block party ensues. And I, I think um, I wanted to show how if you follow your own beat and you do the thing that you love most, you will find your community. Wow. wow. What a wonderful message. That's beautiful. Well, Angie, Angie, thank you so much for, for doing this. I know you're sticking around for New York Living as well. Yes, I so am. See you in a bit. Thank you so much.